Hello crafty friends, it's Annie from Vintage Lace Journal and I'm going to show you today how to make some quick and easy tags using all the kind of stuff you've got in your craft room. So at the minute I've got um, loads of these tags, these are shop-bought tags, uh, brown tags, also I keep um, tags off clothes when I get them off so there's tags like that in here and um, let's get a bit of a basket full. Um, also if I've showed you this before, I'll link Craft Stash UK below. Um, this is a tag maker so you can make 2.5 two and 1.5 inch tags so if you've got um scrapbook and paper or just any kind of like um packaging you could also make your own tags using one of these so i'll link um craft stash below and that there and also i have got so many digital packs so like i've shown you before when i print something off i put who it's by so this is obviously um junk journal studio i bought them in packs i've got this one here junk journal studio um i've got whoop some stuff here from Artful Galleria, uh, loads. So I've got all these packs and I've just got lots of pieces. I print off the bits I want for my projects that I use and I sort of have lots of excess of those left over. So I'm going to try and use some of those up. Now, I was looking through my videos the other day on um, Instagram and I saw this and thought, oh, what a great thing to do, like a mass make or just have a go at just doing um, something to use all my kind of stuff up. So let's get started straight away so all i've got here is an old book um this is one i just got from a local charity shop i think it was something like 50p i'm going to be using the shop bought tags and i might try and do some with the tags that come off clothes as well i've got some twine because i like to use my own metal um eyelets when i'm making my tags i just think it makes a um a tag look like a little bit more special and it gives it a bit more strength. Obviously, these aren't very strong when you try and put things through it. I've got some distress ink there. Mine is vintage photo. I've got some little labels and I think that's it. Glue book and a glue stick because I'm just going to use an ordinary glue stick. It's only paper that I'm gluing down. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it doesn't need to be really, really strong bonded. This, a glue stick will be absolutely fine. <coughs> OK, so let's make a start. So I'm just going to get one of these pre-bought tags. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this really flimsy little bit of um, thread. Obviously, keep that for other crafting projects. These kind of things are nice if you scrunch them up uh, and then put an image over the top. I might try that in a little while. OK, so bring in your tag. Go to your um, book that you're using. And just tear out a page. Now, it doesn't matter that this is frayed and torn because it will get covered up um, one side and the other. And it's quite a nice look for obviously this type of tag anyway. So I'm just going to come in with my glue stick and I'm going to roughly glue half of my tag. So make sure you go right up to the edges and then just come in with that book page and pop it on over the top and give that a rub down. OK, so in with the old papers, I'm going to use some of these ones. This is from the Junk Journal Studio, All Things Roses, beautiful kit. And they've got some lovely backing papers so I'm going to use this green. So what I'm going to come and do is tear it down there, bring my book page back in, and then oops, get that away. Glue the other half of the tag that I haven't glued yet already. So pop some glue on there, and then just come in with that tag I've just torn. Before I do that, I am just going to gone quite white there so I'm just going to ink that up to give it a distressed torn look there we go and I'm just going to glue that down over there oh, just forgot to put the glue on okay so coming in and pressing that down give that a good rub into that glue <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut all of that excess off. And I keep, obviously, these excess bits because that's going to come in handy when you do your next tag. So just trimming around. And obviously, you can take your time doing this bit. And then up the side. And that has created the base for your tag. Get to that away. So the next thing I'm going to do again is going to come back in with my ink. I'm going to ink all the way around the edge of this. So just picking up 
from these edge parts. Just be careful when you're doing this because obviously I haven't let my tag, uh, the glue on my tag dry, so it could peel up if I'm a bit too vigorous. There we go. I think my ink pad needs reinking. There we go. Then I'm going to come in with my eyelet maker. I've got a good old fashioned eyelet maker like this. Obviously, people have the crocodiles, but not in my budget. So, pop a hole in there. And then I'm going to come in with just these eyelets. Now, you can use coloured eyelets if you want to. I quite like these um, metal effect ones. I'm just going to set that with my tool. If you haven't got eyelets, um, don't use them. You can use um, ring binder holes, the little strengtheners used to have a years ago. And that's created the base of that tag. So even if you just wanted to make a load of these up and then obviously um, design them as and when you get your projects, that might be a way to go as well. But I'm going to carry on with my design. So now I'm going to come in with some kind of like background feature. So I'm going to go in with a tag. So these are um, labels from Days Gone By, uh, Junk Down Studio again. I've got loads of these tags cut up already. So I'm just going to come in with one of those. The colour fits quite nicely. And pop glue on the back of that. And I'm going to stick that quite central there. Now this is already kind of like a grungy kind of look inked already, so I don't need to add an ink to that. Then I've got some numbers in here. I might come in with one of those. Got loads of these little numbers. So I've just grab one. Pop a bit of glue on the back. I'm going to go over on the writing side to cover some of that text up. And then I want kind of some kind of focal image on the front here. So I'm going to just again have a look in the stash, whatever you've got. I've got these lovely mushrooms here. This is um, Fall Bounty. <coughs> Excuse me. Coughing and snishing like a good one. Oh, perfect. Look at this. So is that going to be too big? Possibly. I might go with this size. Gorgeous little owl. So this is um, Fall Bounty Kit 3 from Junk Journal Studio. That's going to be too big as well. Last ditch attempt. I don't think that will be too big. Just have a little look. It's going to cover my tag up though. So this is why it's nice to just play. These are obviously fantastic images, just not right for this project. So I'm going to pop them back in there. And I think I might just go with a the mushroom which one would fit that one I think I really should plan my videos out before I do them but I'm kind of like winging it you never know where your crafting is going to take you let's have a little look at that perfect I'm just going to bring that in a bit more now okay so just going to cut this image out and I think I'll probably add some more um, text at the top as well There we go. So that's our little mushroom that's going to go on that frame as a background. So again, just pop some glue on the glue stick. And that's going to sit nicely on there. And then from that kit, I am going to use some of those words. I think the dark words go quite nice. And I'm going to use a small one. I've got little mushrooms I'll put. I might put it on its side. These are just lovely little words. So put them on paper and you just cut them out to the size label you want. And there's so many different words on here. They're just fantastic. And with this label, I'm going to go down sideways. I really need to get my glue book out. There we go. So next thing I'm going to do is come in with a bit of my twine. 
So loop that in half. In fact, I'll get in there, sorry. Always put in your folded end, it's easier. And then pop up. And then we have first tag done. So nice and simple, just anything you've got lying around, any digitals you would need using up. So let's have a go at making another one, see how different kind of um we can make it do exactly the same principle. What have I got here? Rubbish. Okay, so another tag. Now we should be able to use this part this time. And so like I said, that's not cut down the bottom. That should be absolutely fine. So again, put glue on half of your tag. And also you could do it the other way. We'll have a go at that next. So bottom and top decorating. So again, come in with my sheet of paper and it doesn't matter there's a big border here because like i said before you are going to cover that there we go right this time i'm going to choose a completely different color it's pink here so again just coming down giving that a tear and just distressing that edge So remember, glue the tag. So overlap and the rest of the tag. And then just come in and glue that down. So this time I've got nice pinks with a vintage colour. And then again, cut the excess off. And anything you don't use, like these little bits of scraps here, um, I've got a little um, smaller plastic wallet that I keep all my scraps in and they can be used for master boards or just layering up when you're doing tag layers mm -hmm. there we go. Out of the way. so basic tag again so coming in with distress ink just pop the lid on that one dry out and again, just going around the whole of that tab. You could even use a colour dig if you wanted to, pick up with a pink colour. Um, so my paper here is pink. I could have done like a smoky pink on the edge. Just have a play. See which kind of colours you like. It suits your taste. And whatever printables or papers you have. And there we go. Okay, so that's our base tag made. So then just popping my hole back in the back. So I've already got the hole in the back. Can't see it on the front. So go from the back to repunch that hole. And I think I'm going to go with the, what do we call that? Pinky kind of colour. Okay, so that links in with the same colours on the tag. Again, just come in with my eyelet setter and set that. Okay, so this time I'm going to go with a different kind of background. So this is uh, All Things Roses from the Junk Journal. I'm going to have a little look around in here. I think that would be nice, but that's way too big. So this is when you kind of like realise how much stuff you have. Oh, I quite like those frames. So we might use that as a background. We might not. I might use that as a background. And then something to put on the top. That label. And some smaller flowers here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this frame. But I'm going to ink around the edges. I'm going to make that again. Just a bit dark on the edges. Just to grunge it up. So I'll stick that down first. I'm just wondering if I might do this ticket out of the top. I think I will. Where's my scissors? So I'm just going to cut these little notches out 
I'm not going to worry about the bottom one because actually you won't see that one. And again, just ink that. So this is just about layering up. I'm such a messy crafter. Stuff everywhere. So I'm going to layer that there. And then I'm going to put my frame on top. So I'm just going to re-glue. In there. And it kind of like gives this layering effect on the background. There we go. So I think I'm going to choose. That might look quite nice. That one there. So I'm just going to fussy cut this guy out. Right? So there we go. And again, just because it's printed on white paper, I'm just going to come in with my ink. Just to go round and take that white off that background. And glue. There we go. So in here as well, I would imagine. Um, oh, I know where they are. I had some words. Kind of like they've got these blues and pinks that went with this kit. And this is quite a dark set. Um, a rose is perfect. I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to split where the sentiment is. So I'm going to put half of that sentiment at the top. A rose is perfect. And then the other half down the bottom. The other half is vanished. There it is. I'd never do live telly, would I? There we go. So last thing again is just come in with my twine. Cut, fold, pop it through. And there we go. So blue colour pink colour, completely different tags. Okay, just plain brown on the top. So this time, like I said, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try doing uh, bottom and top, see if that makes any difference. I'm going to try a different kind of paper as well. So let's have another little go. So get our tag. And just going to grab my book. This is how um, craft develops. I think you just, you know, have a little idea in your head and then just play around, you know, what's the worst that could happen. The crafters are very good at covering up their mistakes. So, again, I'm just going to glue that on this way instead of the other way. So, glue half the tag from bottom to top. I've not done it like this before, so let's see what happens. And pop that on. These come from another form cluster kit. It's all about mushrooms. I'm going to try the text. I quite like that one. So I'm going to go over the top with that. So, roughly going to tear that about here. And again, remember where you tear it just to give it that bit of ink. Okay, so glue the top of my tag and then pop that in there. I'm going to actually try and get that on the top so I don't have to cut too much of the tag. Okay, and as before, just cut round. That um, top part is on a slightly thicker paper. That would be hard, so it's a bit tricky to cut through. There we go. 
away. So then come in again with ink. And this is quite an old book anyway. Um, I think it's a German book, so I bought it in a craft shop. Oh, look what I've done. I've actually managed to get two pages there somehow. So before that does anything, I'm just going to pull that out and re-glue that bit there. It's made into a pocket, but it's quite thin paper. I wouldn't have worked. I quite like that, top and bottom. It's a bit of difference, isn't it? Okay, so. Just tag on that side. Come in with my, make my hole. And this just shows you, I mean, you can just keep going with these. You can have some pretty patterned paper on here. Um, you could use what you like. I'm going to go in with a, with a gold one, I think. I love the gold on the brown. Pop that in. There we go. Right, so this time, let's have a little look. So I put these bits off today. These are Halloween bits, and these were from the Digital Collage um, Club. So I'm now a craft um, creative team member for those. And there was like a Halloween-y kind of kit and had all these little, little tea cards on them. So I'm going to use one of those. I might just come in with... Oh, that's me. <laughs> Having a little go at stamping the other day. Oh, I'll tell you what, my craft is an absolute mess at the minute. Okay, I'm going to just rip this out. And then rip the top bit. And then cut the edges. So it's got that kind of like cut forward look. And then those edges I will keep straight. I don't want to get wide no. So I'm going to cut it a bit narrower than it is on there. And again, this is all just about creating layers on your tags. Give it that bit of interest. Remember that bit I got off. I'm just going to do my pull and drag. So push, just pull it out. I think this ink pack certainly has, it's on its last legs. Right, so I've got that behind there. I'm gonna pull that down the bottom a little bit. And I want it at the top. Again, just play around with before you so I kind of commit to doing anything. I've also got this lovely little um, mop on here, so I'm going to cut that out because I want that to be part of the design. Okay, so I'm still just trying to fiddle around with where I want things, so I think I'm going to put that there to cover up that blank space there. I'm happy with that there. Um, so I'm just going to come in with my design. Now, I'm going to use one of these tea cards. So I've got like the moth on here. Uh, I think I might go with an owl again. I quite like that one. So I didn't manage to get an owl on my first one, so I'll get it in the second one. Goodness knows where my scissors are. Oh, right under my nose. <laughs> okay. Again, I printed these out on paper um, because I think the products I'm going to use them for are just literally going to be cutting and sticking. Um, and if they're not, you could always put them onto card to make them um, stronger. Loads of Amazon packaging, stuff that kind of like that. So that's going to go on there, offset. And I just need some kind of word or something to go down the side there. So, I'm going to start sticking this down so I don't forget where I want things. So, that's going to go at the top. Mind you, before I stick that down, did I want to stick that down? I can't remember, so I'm going to stick this down first. And if it does overlap, which I think it will. 
in we go. Okay, and I've got my little card to go on here. And then I want something across the bottom to link in, like words or numbers. And pop my little cowley on here. Um, what can I put on there? So, I'm going to have another number down the bottom, just because I want to tie in this kind of black at the top. It's just a bit too big. This black number that's a bit smaller. I really should organise things better. I see people with these lovely uh, organisers I've made. It's finding the time to make them. I need to print some more labels off. I might just do the big one. I just like the way it ties the black in with the black. Right. Do you know what I might do is put it half on there and half on the back. Just because it was a bit too big. And that way... I've got the tag, not there. Okay, I think I just need something here as well. Um, might again get something that's half done. So these little um, stamps go in with the kit as well. So I might just choose one of those. And have half a skull. Why not? Or should I have an insect? I think insects might be better with the theme. So these are kind of like um, stamps and just cut them around on a straight line and that kind of white gives you the stamp effect and again I'm going to put that half on and then fold it around so glue the whole thing half on I'm going to put about three quarters on and then just fold that last little bit around on the side okay and then last thing to do again is a bit of twine and poke and there we go another tag so again <clears throat> just did my book page the other way a really really simple concept for you there so three different tags well, three same tags, just different things on top. So it's the same principle of book page and pattern paper and then just layering up anything you've got left. And to be honest with you, I've just got so much stuff left. I can't even show you the state of my room. I should actually show you the state of my room. Look, it's an absolute bomb site. And I have this tiny little making area in the middle. Um, Yeah, I really do need to tidy. Anyway, I'm hoping that's been some news today. And I'll see you next time from hopefully a tidy craft room. Lots of love. Bye.